If you guys want to learn how to export the highest quality video in Premiere Pro without having that long of a render time in 2020, then this is a video for you. Let's get right into it. Of course, you have your timeline here with your video. It's polished up. It's ready to be uploaded. The first thing you're going to do is go up here to the top left, click on file, and then go to project settings right here. You'll see these three options show up. Go ahead and select general. Now, as you can see, this is a dialog box that shows up when you first create your new project. So what we're going to be focusing on here is renderer. You'll see that you have two options or one, depending on if you have a graphics card that supports CUDA or not. Obviously, if you have CUDA, you want to select this one. It'll greatly improve not only your export times, but also your real time editing performance so that your preview won't lag as much while you're trying to edit. If you don't have an up to date graphics card or don't have one at all, you're just going to have software only and that is fine. It's just going to export a little bit slower. Now I know it's pretty easy to get intimidated by all this because it's a lot of settings that can be altered, but it's actually pretty easy and we're not really going to be changing that much. So the first thing we're going to do is go up here to format and make sure your encoding format is H.264. Now, if you go just a little bit lower right here, you'll see output name. This is where you can change the title of your video. So if you just click it and change the location, make video example or whatever you want to title that. You want to make sure export video and export audio are checked. Now by default, these are both checked, but you always just want to make sure just in case. Down here, go ahead and click on video so we can change our video export settings. So to explain the baseline of this, right here where this checkbox is next to all these different descriptions, what that means is that it'll match up to whatever your recording video is. So as you can see, I recorded in 1080p 60 FPS. So right here, my width, height, and frame rate are matching up with that since the checkbox are checked and if we uncheck it you can see that we can actually change the values now that that's explained i'm just going to go ahead and give you the step-by-step -step settings so have these two checked and if we scroll down here you're going to want to keep these checked field order aspect tv standard all that stays the same but you're going to want to also check render at maximum depth because that is going to improve your video a lot without really making that much of a difference on the export times scroll down here you'll see performance profile and level all these are going to stay the same except profile so just come over here and uncheck it and then change from main to high so once you've changed that simply scroll down until you come across bitrate settings it's going to be right here the first thing we're going to change is bitrate encoding we're going to select it to vbr2 pass so i assume the majority of you watching this video right now are trying to upload a video to youtube and on youtube support page they actually show the recommended bitrate to use for your resolution and frame rate so i took a screenshot of that and just placed it here so you guys wouldn't have to go to that website so simply just match it up to whatever your resolution and frame rate are and whatever number you match it up to is going to be your target bit rate so since i'm uploading at 1080p 60 fps my target bit rate is going to be 12 but of course that number depends on whatever you're uploading at and once you've changed that you're going to go over here to maximum bit rate and all you're going to do is take the number of your target bit rate and double it and that will be your maximum bit rate. Now, this is actually one of the most important changes you can make, especially if you're uploading a high motion game like Call of Duty or Fortnite. Now, the reason we have our maximum bit rate set so high is to allow enough legroom for the target bit rate to increase whenever there's higher motion scenes in your video. Having it set to a high value like that prevents any bottlenecking from happening, whereas if you had it set to 15, or you know something pretty close to your target bit rate that would definitely result in a blurry looking video so like i said double your target bit rate is the best thing you can do so now that our bit rate settings are properly set you could just scroll down a little more just to ensure these are set to the default values unless your video is vr of course but most likely it's not so now that we're done with video go up here next to the video tab and click on audio audio format is going to stay at aac and down here audio codec of course aac Sample rate, 48,000, channels, stereo, change audio quality to high, and change the bit rate, kilobits per second, to 320. And the last thing we're going to be changing right here, where it says use maximum render quality, go ahead and check that if it wasn't checked already. So now that all your settings are set up correctly, you're ready to export the best video, but you don't want to export just yet. If you guys want to use these settings for every single video you upload, which I would recommend doing and which is also what I do, then you can save the preset so that you don't have to change the settings every single time. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So just go over here next to where it says preset. You'll see right here it says save preset just go ahead and click that you can name the preset so i'm just going to name it example 
go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that the preset has been made. So now if you ever just want to export any video, you just press Control M go to preset scroll up you'll see that it shows up right here and now you can click export and start rendering your amazing video now i do have some tips and tricks to greatly increase your render times in premiere pro that i did not show in this video so if you guys do want to see me create that video just go ahead and leave a like on this video and comment down below and if i see enough comments mentioning that then i will definitely be uploading that video in the near future but for now that's pretty much it for this video please leave a like and subscribe if this did help you out and also if there is an issue or you have any questions, then please, please leave a comment down below. I will reply to you very quickly. I'm always reading my comments and replying to them. And yeah, until my next video, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.